Good evening and welcome. You're watching Breaking Views with me, Sanket Upadhyay, a show where we get you all the views so that you get the complete picture. One big story that we are tracking on the show from reviving the Congress to restoring Bihari pride, all of this in a matter of a fortnight, in 15 days, the master strategist Prashant Kishore has changed his strategy. Imagine from reviving a grand old party, 600 slide presentation, in 15 days you held a press conference saying, I feel that we should restore Bihar's pride. What sort of strategy jump is this? It's an absolute access jump, as one says in the media. Is Prashant Kishore, and that is the most important question, fighting an existential battle? Does the master strategist need a strategy, a good strategy for himself? Otherwise, this is an existential battle. You see, there is a track record in place. Mr. Kishore has a huge list of achievements of governments he has supposedly formed or helped form. Let's take a look at them one by one. So, of course, it one was Lok Sabha election 2014. We'll put that on screen right now. Lok Sabha 2014, a big hit for Mr. Prashant Kishore, the Modi sweep. But the point is, it was Narendra Modi who won with Mr. Kishore as a strategist, as a strategist, not the strategist. Then the Bihar election, the Mahagadbandhan, a simple math will tell you that when Mahagadbandhans and their vote shares will get together, they will end up defeating an opponent, in this case the BJP. Again a hit registered in the name of Mr. Prashant Kishore, who fought and who won? The political stakeholders. Who got the accolades apart from these political stakeholders? Mr. Prashant Kishore, not taking his glory away from him. But the point is, Mr. Kishore has had a habit of betting on the winning horse and then claiming that to be his victory. Take a look at Punjab 2017. Captain Amrinder Singh wins. Again, it was the captain's face, captain's victory with Mr. Kishore's strategy at the back end. He backed a victor. Andhra Pradesh election 2019 backed a victor in Jagan Mohan Reddy. Delhi election 2020 backed a victor in Arvind Kejriwal. Tamil Nadu election 2021, he backed a victor in MK Stalin and the DMK. We all knew what is going to happen of the AIA DMK. So he backed the victor. And then West Bengal 2021, Mamta Banerjee, the strong street fighter, he backed the victor. So that has been the strategy and this is not me being unkind to Mr. Prashant Kishore. This is by his own admission in television interviews that ultimately the fight is of a political party. I am just a facilitator. So his entire model has been to support the victor and help them win. Because if you take a look at his misses, one flop, one big flop, was 2017 Uttar Pradesh. His election strategy for the Congress party failed. And that has been the big problem for Mr. Prashant Kishore. And then of course his, his big deal with the Congress party on reviving this party, which by the way was in the works 15 days ago. It did not work out. I don't know what he was expecting. But the point is that backing the victor and offering them some form of political consultancy versus jumping into the game and doing it yourself are two totally different things. And in that context, is the master strategist clear in his head what he expects of himself? Because in 15 days, we have seen two totally different strategies of Mr. Prashant Kishore. On one hand, claiming to revive or offering suggestions to revive and a grand old party with 600 slides cut to 15 days later where he now says that I'll embark on a 3,000 kilometer road journey to restore the glory of Bihar. What is the strategy of this master strategist? We really wonder. Let's quickly introduce our guests one by one. Mr. K.C. Tyagi is the Secretary General and the spokesperson of the JDU. Dr. Naval Kishore, spokesperson of the RJD. 
Uh, these were the two parties uh, who were questioned extensively in the press con their rule questioned extensively in the press conference by uh, Prashant Kishore. We also have Manisha Priyam, political analyst as well as a researcher, follows uh, uh, Bihar like no one else. Uh, Dr. Ashok Sinha, spokesperson of BJP Bihar and Sanjay Jha, the political analyst, uh, former spokesperson of the Congress party. Thank you very much. Important discussion. Let's quickly uh, come to you one by one to understand your view. Mr. K.C. Tyagi, it seems that Mr. Prashant Kishore has written off any effort that has been made by the JDU or the RJD and perhaps with some degree of truth because Bihar still gets counted among the most backward states despite the rule, the Lalu Nitish rule of the past 30 years. Prasant Kishore Ji जो पिछले 16 17 सालों का नीतीश कुमार जी की गुड गवर्नेंस है उसकी तारीफ की है उसको उन्होंने क्वेश्चन नहीं किया है और प्रशांत किशोर जी की जो एंट्री है बिहार में वो 2015 में है उन्होंने 1990 से लेकर के 2005 के बीच का बिहार नहीं देखा था जिसमें रूल ऑफ लॉ नहीं था जिसमें गुड गवर्नेंस नहीं थी जिसमें डेवलपमेंट कैजुअलिटी थी जिसमें इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नहीं थी जिसमें रोड्स नहीं थी और कानून को धता दिखाया गया था वो जिम्मेदारी 2005 में एनडीए ने श्री नीतीश कुमार जी को सौंपी थी और प्रशांत जी उस घटनाक्रम से अलग हैं दूर हैं लिहाजा वो लालू जी का और नीतीश कुमार जी के राज को क्रमशः एक साथ जोड़ रहे हैं सिन्हा जी बैठे हैं प्रियन जी बैठी हैं झा जी बैठे हैं नवल जी बैठे हैं नवल जी राजनीतिक तौर पर हमारे अलग धारा के हो सकते हैं लेकिन तीनों बिहार के साथ ही बैठे हैं पिछले 16 सालों में हमने बिहार को पटरी पे लाने का प्रयास किया है स्पेशल कोर्ट बैठा करके 50000 लोगों का कन्विक्शन कराया है आज सड़कों का जाल बिछा हुआ है कोई घर नहीं है जिस घर में बिजली ना हो कोई घर नहीं है जिसमें जल का नल का जल ना हो लड़कियों का जो एजुकेशन है वो कैजुअलिटी थी बहुत ड्रॉप आउट थे आज हर लड़की साइकिल पे बैठ करके स्कूल जा रही है लेकिन अभी काफी कुछ और होना बाकी है नो नो दैट इज ट्रू और but... जो सवाल मेरे मित्र उठाया जो सवाल मेरे मित्र ने उठाया है अब मैं उस पर आना चाहता हूं कि बिहार अब भी पिछड़े पायदान पर है मैं बहुत कैटेगरिकली आपके चैनल पे पहले भी कहा संकेत जी फिर कहना चाहता हूं जब तक बिहार को विशेष राज्य का दर्जा नहीं मिलता है बिहार में निवेश नहीं होगा कोई भी निवेश करने वाला गुजरात महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटक और चेन्नई को छोड़कर सिवान में क्यों निवेश करेगा करेक्ट Correct. So, why will come? Okay, Dr. Ashok Sinha, Dr. Sinha, I want to come to you now. I am only and only talking about what we have seen in the news over the past 15 days. <laughs> पंद्रह दिन में इतनी दो अलग-अलग स्ट्रेटजीज़। Two things are there, Sanket. Correct. First one is that to a common Bihari or an Indian, it seems that Prashant Kishore is a totally confused person. Confused person. Rather, okay. it should be told that he is welter of confusion. Secondly, from why, the why do you call him a confused person? Because you yourself told that 15 days ago he was he no, was. No, but this is a fact. All, this is a fact, oh. and it's for any anybody to even common man says that he's a he's a confused person if he wants to plunge in politics. So far, his a strategy part is concerned. You already told that he always sides with with victors, or in that sense, he's a rather we should say that he's a Mosam Bhagyani. He first judges ki who is going, who has the more possibility of winning. In Bihar, if he was the he he was instrumental in Modi's victory in 2014, 
Modi won in 2019 with a greater margin. Prashant Kishore was not there. So we are fully convinced that this person is trying to market himself. He is trying to sell himself. And free of cost, Prashant Kishore doing anything, uh, it's unimaginable. He, at the best, he can be a mercenary. Uh, we, we must... We must admit this thing. And Bihar doesn't have a space for him. Because... No, but why so, are you calling him a mercenary? Because he works for... Uh, you can contract him for NDTV. You can contract... Anybody can contract so, for... So, you're, 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 you're saying that you're basically casting aspersions and doubting his commitment for Bihar's Suraj also. That right. tomorrow he'll be because, awarded a contract and he will ditch this, this project as well. Sure. Surely. Okay, and that's if, an important point that is being made. Yeah, Man yes, Manisha Priyam, Manisha Priyam, what is your assessment? Do you think that this is a, 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 a degree of fickle-mindedness on the part of Mr. Prashant Kishore and now he's trying to figure out what to do next, what to try next? Or do you feel that he, is, he has very successfully, I must say, uh, done a lot of pillion riding on political victors already in his career? So, you know, the term political pillion riding or mercenary, uh, these are terms that have no value in politics. Hmm. Uh, one could say that the BJP was pillion riding on the JDU. By itself, the BJP did not have, uh, you know, much of a stature in Bihar. Uh, you could similarly say that the RJD, uh, when it became a formidable force, it combined with the left parties and the ultra left parties. It ended up consuming many of the ultra-left parties and it built its own space. So if you use terms like pillion riding and mercenary, mm. then what do you call political competition? Mm. Now here, what is at stake is that the nature of the political competition that you see in Bihar is not like the two-party competition, etc. that is taught in the theory books of politics. It's a highly fragmented <coughs> uh, political space, uh, which you've seen has been fragmented to the extent that most big parties have had to rely on smaller players. You've seen that the base, the social base of the coalition, uh, you know, the Malah caste, for example, hmm. which again is constituted of many more, the EBC categories have been referred to as the Pachpurnas. So hmm. there is a lot of fluidity at the base. The success of the Nitish model was combining elements of good governance with elements of the EBC that were at the heart of the Karpuri Thakur politics within a mold of socialist ideology. Hmm. Now, here is a political opportunity that stands at the door of Bihar. And that political opportunity is that both the tall leaders that came out of the JP movement in the 1970s are really at the last leg of their political careers for many hmm. reasons, hmm. Uh, whether it be Mr. Lalu Prashad Yadav or Mr. Nitish Kumar. So he has sensed uh, an opportunity for himself. Yes, and, I, and let me complete this. That, that yeah. opportunity is coming up also because of the fact that uh, one sees that the coalition between the JDU and the BJP is one where the BJP is now the bigger brother in terms of the number of seats. Correct. The BJP would want to expand its space. Mm. The moment the BJP wants to expand its space, it does so by doing very contradictory politics. The mm. BJP was considered to be a party of the upper caste. The moment it wants to expand, it will have to simultaneously be a party of the upper caste and it will have to swallow up the ideology of Karpuri Thakur. Hmm. Now, the moment you do that, the upper caste will be in a dilemma because the upper caste do want some kind of a pitchfork politics which keeps them away. So, no, but you then you know, Ms. Priya, my picture. question is, and this debate is centered around uh, a man who's trying to position a, number one, find his feet politically, try out yeah. a new experiment, but. Uh, I think what, what is being subjected to a debate over here, Dr. Naval Kishore, is the commitment that he is ready to show. Because I come to the main point once again, 15 days ago, he was offering a plan to revive a grand old party, the Congress. 15 days later, he remembers Bihari pride. Look, uh, Prasant Kishore ji ki rajniti ki ichha, ka jo pradarsan hai, wo koi pahli dafa nahi. 2015 के बाद भी आपने देखा होगा कि चीफ मिनिस्टर नीतीश कुमार के एडवाइजर के रूप में कैबिनेट रैंक के रूप में उन्होंने काम करने का अवसर मिला उन्हें 
जेडीयू के वाइस प्रेसिडेंट के रूप में उनको अवसर मिला आ, लेकिन वो खोजते रहे मुझे लगता है कि एक प्रोफेशनल और पॉलिटिकल के बीच में वो डिसाइड नहीं कर पा रहे हैं कि वेदर ही इज गोइंग टू बी ए प्रोफेशनल पर्सन और ए पॉलिटिकल पर्सन इसमें आ, उनको अभी तक वो निर्णय नहीं कर पाए हैं या सफलता नहीं मिली है अंतिम असफलता जो कांग्रेस के साथ उनका गेट टूगेदर जो बातचीत हुआ उसके बाद देखने को मिलता है कि जो असफलता उधर मिला है क्या उसको ये छुपाने का एक रास्ता है कि आप तुरंत बिहार में आए और एक आए किसाई डॉक्टर किशोर हम गोना कम बैक टू यू वी हैव लॉस्ट योर वीडियो वी आर गोना कम बैक टू यू बट संजय झा संजय झा हाउ डू यू लुक एट दिस स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ द स्ट्रेटेजिस्ट एंड अगेन आई आई रीटरेट दैट पॉइंट 15 days back reviving the congress 15 days later restoring bihar's pride well sanket i think uh, you called him the tom cruise of indian politics and no, uh, i i i haven't i say he's yeah. he's often projected as the tom cruise who who comes up with strange political maneuvers to make political parties win well you know, the truth is that tom cruise has been Uh, leading a very successful franchise called Mission Impossible, and I do believe that you've got to give Prashant the credit that right now on this show you've got very eminent people from three different parties who Talking seem to be him. very perturbed by the entry of Prashant Kishore in Bihar. You see, in my opinion, Sanket, Prashant Kishore brings in a breath of fresh air in a highly claustrophobic political theatre of this country. dominated by mainstream parties who really actually practice nothing but the same old communal polarization and caste politics and i think you need that kind of change i'll give an example where the congress is concerned yes it's true that prashant gave some constructive suggestions to the congress and the congress party by the way is still got an open kind of a format that they can implement it without prashant kishore but mm-hmm. the truth is that indian politics today is looking for alternatives I think you know let me give credit here to Arvind Kejriwal like it or not he struggled there for a long time but you have seen that the party is making some degree of traction and I do believe but you know Mr Jha time, uh, yeah? here here lies a difference and this is just for argument sake you can uh, you know maybe turn it down if you don't agree with this argument the point yeah. is Mr Kejriwal uh, was not offering his services as a strategist to make political parties win uh before jumping onto the political bandwagon right he led But a let campaign an anti corruption campaign and then launched a political outfit mm-hmm. and he's he's been fairly successful in that endeavor here is a person who has offered his services to all and sundry absolutely and i i do believe that prashant kishore has been extremely transparent about the fact that he's oh, chosen to what? be ideologically agnostic when it has come to his consulting services and why not i do believe uh, sanket that india is going to see the rise of a lot more of such engagements with political parties hmm. let me give an example whether it is tyagi ji's party or the rjd or the bjp people do not normally speak truth to power and therefore when somebody comes in laterally and tells the high command of the different parties that listen this is what you need to do differently what you need to change they are heard and i also want to make this point here that if prashant kishore today decides to take a plunge during the interim period where he takes a call on where his political career is headed and engages with people i think bihar is a microcosm of what india's problems are okay. it has Do- problems dr sinha doesn't agree with you problems that need to be added one, one by one dr sinha first and then mr tyagi yes sure yes uh, what uh, sanjay jha is telling i think it's far from the truth and he should not talk like that it's an uh, it's a place bihar he may be a bihari but i think he has lost uh, roots in bihar that's why he's talking this way in I'm bihar corrupt, sir. i have loved lost just, just, i have lost roots with corruption and communal violence you're right yes you you be comfortable with this notion but the fact is that people like prashant kishore whose convictions are completely oscillating vacillating rather and from right to left of center and to anybody left right what is this does he think that biharis are so full that he that they, they will go behind him just for nothing he is he is not explaining what is his ideology what does he want to do he says bihar is a backward saying that he is going to carry out a padyatra 
I am sure he'll spell out the details then. He is very Why is Mr. Sinha so rattled? Hmm. Why is Sinha no, no, so no. rattled? He is in power. Rattled. Why should he be so worried? Sinha ji, if you think that he is a non entity, don't be rattled. Yeah. No, why I should be rattled? Uh -huh. Sanjay ji, <laughs> you should think. I think by October, that the date he has fixed for Padyatra, he will again change his mind. And he will say, you know, because of this rainy season in Bihar, we have changed our plan and like that. But he can't goof up. People have understood what Prashant Kishore is. In fact, conclusively, we can say that he doesn't have a space in Bihar, at least in Bihar. Okay, KC Tyagi, KC Tyagi, how do you, do you feel, uh, Mr. Sanjay Jha feels that the, the, your presence over here, you are here and you are taking a look at this talk, you are taking a look ये इस बात का प्रतीक है कि प्रशांत किशोर एक जरूरी हस्ती हैं और एक बौखलाहट सी दिख रही है बिहार की राजनीति में ने जेडीयू में कोई बौखलाहट नहीं है प्रशांत किशोर जी जेडीयू में नीतीश कुमार जी के साथ काम कर चुके हैं और जो दो अक्टूबर गांधी जी का जयंती के दिन और जो कर्म भूमि है महात्मा गांधी की चंपारण वहां से वो कार्यक्रम शुरू करने वाले हैं और जो सुराज का कार्यक्रम उन्होंने अपने हाथ में लिया है मैं बहुत जिम्मेदारी से और मजबूती से कहना चाहता हूं कि एनडीए की सरकार नीतीश कुमार के नेतृत्व में सारे गांधीवादी कार्यक्रम उनमें से एक दो ऐसे भी हैं जो अप्रिय भी हैं उन सबको इंप्लीमेंट करने पे लगी हुई है हाँ मैं एक जरूर संकेत जी डिसग्रीमेंट की बात उनसे करना चाहता हूँ कि फिलहाल नीतीश कुमार की गुड गवर्नेंस का जो एजेंडा है उसका विकल्प जो है प्रशांत किशोर नहीं हो सकते हैं क्योंकि जो सवाल वो उठाना चाहते हैं वो सारे सवालों के जवाब नीतीश कुमार जी और एनडीए के गठबंधन दे चुका है तो आप भी आप भी बीजेपी के साथ सहमत हैं कि उनकी बिहार में जगह नहीं है यू सेइंग द सेम थिंग नहीं मेरा और बीजेपी के एनालिसिस अलग अलग है हाँ। मैं बिटर नहीं हूं प्रशांत किशोर के लिए चूंकि हम लोगों ने काम किया है हाँ। और जो सुराज का नारा उन्होंने दिया है काम तो पार्टी लगातार That's the thing. He has worked <laughs> with everyone. Ah, <laughs> Dr. Sinha. And offered. Kya? Kya? Dr. Sinha ki party ne kya? Or ham dono milkar ke abhi kam kar rahe hain. Or jo jo good governance ka Suraj ka concept unka hai. NDA ki sarkar 2005 se isi kam ko karne pe lagi hui hai. Dr. Naval ki short. Sorry, we scope. We had to cut you short. You were saying. डॉक्टर जी मैं सिर्फ देखिए राजनीति करने का हर किसी को अधिकार है और प्रशांत किशोर के लिए कोई अवरोधक है ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है मैं बस सिर्फ ये बता रहा हूँ कि जो राजनीतिक इच्छा उनकी है या राजनीति में योगदान करने की इच्छा है ये कोई पहली दफा नहीं इससे पहले भी 2015 में चीफ मिनिस्टर नीतीश कुमार जी के एडवाइजर के रूप में काम कर चुके हैं उस पार्टी के वाइस प्रेसिडेंट के रूप में काम किए हैं ये अलग बात है कि वहां से धक्का मारकर निकाल दिए गए उसके बाद भी उन्होंने कांग्रेस के साथ भी बहुत लंबी बातचीत की और वहां से भी उन्होंने खुद कहा कि जो अपॉर्चुनिटी हमें मिल रहा था वो हमारे लायक नहीं था अब इन सब चीजों को ये तो इसकी रीडिंग एक ये भी हो सकती है कि चूंकि उन सब आधार पे उन्हें असफलता हासिल हुई है तो उस असफलता को छुपाने के लिए एक नया कार्यक्रम उन्होंने पेश किया है तीन किलोमीटर बिहार में टहलने की क्या जरूरत है बेरोजगारी वहां पे है पलायन वहां पे है अर्थव्यवस्था खराब है कोई उद्योग नहीं है 19 लाख रोजगार की बात करने वाली भाजपा का झूठ सामने है नीतीश कुमार का जो कानून व्यवस्था है चरमराया हुआ है शिक्षा और स्वास्थ्य की क्या स्थिति है पूरा दुनिया जानती है नीति आयोग के रिपोर्ट में है अगर बिहार के विषय में काम ही करना है तो उसकी जानकारी तो ऑलरेडी पब्लिक प्लेटफॉर्म पे है रिटेन भी है भाई, लेकिन अगर वो टहलना चाहते हैं घूमना चाहते हैं तो घूम ले क्या आपत्ति है आपको आपको कोई दिक्कत नहीं होनी चाहिए त्यागी मनीषा प्रियम डॉक्टर सिन्हा संजय झा एज वेल एज डॉक्टर नवल किशोर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस डस द मास्टर स्ट्रेटेजिस नीड अ प्रॉपर स्ट्रेटेजी एंड आई थिंक द की वर्ड हियर इज कमिटमेंट टू वॉट एवर स्ट्रेटेजी ही हैज और विल इट कीप चेंजिंग विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज विल दिस वन रिमेन लेट्स गुड नाइट एंड गुड बाय